Regarding the history of the Covenant and its glorious founding species, the San Shayum and Sanghili, the record of punished deeds would not be sufficient without a word on the Arbiter. Not the consignment of shame that it is currently, but what came before, the legendary warriors of Sanghili passed. Long before the Covenant, the Sanghili ruled their world with pride and vigilance, surviving the perils of both land and sea. These were the arbiters of old, part king, part judge, warrior rulers, unlike any of which would follow. When we arrived on their frontier world of Olgathon, the cost of life was severe. Led by a mighty arbiter, the Sanghili resisted our entreatment with ruthless force, leading to decades of war. We would eventually triumph, of course. And when we did, we would not ignore the mantle of the Arbiter. Like all things, we would bend the Sanghili to our own ends. The Arbiters would become the very will of the Prophets. Our holy city was not always as it is nor was the Covenant. At one time, it was only San Shayum and Sanghili. But as we grew, and new species were added to our number, radical steps had to be taken. Our first encounter with the Lek Golo was an effort in futility. The blasphemous creatures had devoured a forerunner orbital, shattering its remains into a trillion pieces. What was left became the rings of Tay. As no conventional methods could purge the rings of their infestation, we sent one of our most faithful, an Arbiter. For a full year, this Arbiter ventured across the surface of one of their moons, learning both their strengths and their weaknesses. It was there that we discovered the Let Golo secret. Although some of their kind rightly bore the blame for the orbital's desecration, others had only devoured around the forerunner materials. And with reasoning and much labor, these could be used to serve the Covenant. And by these means, the Great Arbiter had given us one of our most sought-after treasures, access to innumerable processing pathways of the mighty forerunner Dreadnought, and to the many secrets it held. Whereas most species were grafted into the Covenant by faith or mutual beneficence, the Ungoi were not such. Their kind was brought into the fold by force, and it was by force that they were held captive. Their world had no prayer against our might and majesty, and their peoples were quickly laid low many of them brought into subjugation. Yet while some species would perish under such pressure, others rise to the occasion, taking arms if need be, fighting back. Such it was for the Ungoy when their feud with the Kigyar led to rebellion. An effort by the Kigyar to sterilize the Ungoy population was met with stiff resistance. And for a time, the holy city was thrown into chaos. 
Once fully provoked, the Ungoi were merciless in their violence, lashing out at all species. Their large numbers and their tenacious volatility made them a suitable challenge, even for the elites. And yet again, we turned to an arbiter. And with a ferocity unparalleled since the beginning of the Covenant, the Ungoi world would be reduced to glass. Those within the Holy City would be forced to watch, unable to stop what could have been the very end of their kind. The Ungoi Rebellion was brought to an end by the Arbiter's hand. Their world was not completely lost, and those who survived within high charity found some measure of mercy. They had proven their worth in combat, and would now serve alongside the Sangheili in battle. The history of the Arbiter is one of both legend and infamy. Their name has been corrupted by great shame, though the contemporary is perhaps the most confounding of all. Thel Vadimi was born of noble blood, the legendary house of Vada. His family's renown demanded great expectations for his military career, and he would meet them all. One of the youngest to achieve the status of shipmaster, and one of the youngest to gain the rate of supreme commander. In our campaign against the humans, few have risen to renown as Vadami. World after human world, all laid low for the sake of the great journey. But then came Halo. Shame unto shame. He failed his greatest charge, and the sacred ring was desecrated. By such disgrace, Thel Vadami became the Arbiter. As a mere scribe, I do not challenge the word of the Hierarchs, but I would be remiss not to voice concern. This Sangheili should have been put down, publicly slain as an example to all of our prayerful expediency. With the discovery of a second ring and the changing of the guard, all things are in jeopardy. Will this Arbiter remain loyal? Or will he stand with his people as they are abolished by our newfound might? I would never openly challenge the divine proclamations of a Hierarch. But this Arbiter is a risk I would not have tolerated. And I now fear the days of the Covenant are numbered. <laughs> Pursuant to Office of Oni Retrieval and Acquisitions Inquiry of 26 September 2552. The following is a target profile of Thel Vadami, Supreme Commander of the Covenant Fleet of Particular Justice compiled by Lieutenant Commander Locke. First confirmed contact with Vadami came in 2535 on an unofficial human colony known as the Rubble. After action reports from civilians, as well as Spartan Units 006, 111, and 120, suggest that Vatami was at that point a relatively minor functionary of the Prophet of Regret. Spartan 006 engaged Vatami in combat on the rubble. Both parties survived the encounter. Shortly after 2535, the UNSC first encountered the newly formed Covenant Fleet of Particular Justice, now led by Vatami. Review of early engagements with this fleet show that it quickly grew in size from five to nearly 60 ships as Vadami cut a path through many human systems. 
Oni Section 3 made multiple attempts to anticipate or even track Vatami's movements at the cost of a number of operatives' lives. Vatami eluded all such efforts and he continued his unpredictable and devastating campaign. Vatami also stands out from other Covenant commanders in the frequency in which he takes a personal role in ground assaults. Camber was a major manufacturing center for UNSC fleet materials with a population of 5.6 million. After discovering Camber's location, Vatami penetrated the early warning perimeter without alerting UNSC forces and began his ground and orbital attacks before most of the planet knew they were in danger. While 17 of his ships bombed key defensive positions, Vatami led a group of elites in a personal assault on UNSC System HQ. One of the first units to engage Vatami was the 3rd Battalion Reserves, who were so unprepared for the arrival of the Covenant forces that Vatami found them unarmed and defenseless. In an unexpected display of what appears to be honor, Vatami allowed the 3rd to finish gearing up before engaging them in combat. While we've had multiple reports of a strict system of honor and ritual behavior followed by the elite within the Covenant, this is the first recorded example of such honor being shown to human opponents. But even given the chance to defend themselves, 3rd Battalion losses were complete. Vatami continued his campaign across many human systems, culminating in his most devastating blow against the UNSC at Reach. Vatami's most recent and damaging blow to the UNSC was the fall of Reach. Oni has still not been able to fully determine how Vatami located the planet, and once again, he caught us completely by surprise when his forces arrived in orbit and on the ground. Vatami is responsible for over 1 billion total casualties and the loss of at least 7 human planets. His forces have defeated all UNSC counterattacks at the cost of 123 fleet vessels and over 23,000 personnel. And now with reach lost, Oni and UNSC strategic AI report a 0% confidence that the Navy can stop Vatami through traditional means. In the opinion of this investigator, Vatami is the most dangerous Covenant military asset on the field. It's common knowledge that the Covenant have a significant technological advantage over the UNSC, but are sometimes inflexible in their tactics. This is not the case for Vatami. We cannot predict what he'll do next, but given time, we fear he will dismantle all remaining UNSC strongholds. This agent's recommendation, immediate termination. If humanity wants to survive this war, we cannot do it with Vatami on the field. Glorious day. The prophets will be pleased that we have rescued an oracle from the humans' violation of the holy temple. Why do you keep calling it a temple? My installation was a weapon, and one which we needed very, very badly. But oracle, I do not understand. We were told the rings are salvation, a gateway to paradise. Told? By whom? Anyone who told you that is a fool, or quite, quite mad. That installation was a beautiful tool, designed to destroy everything the Flood might feed on. Everything? Oh, quite everything. And if even one Flood Spore survived the destruction of my ring... Communications. Shut down all lines to the fleet. 
We will not notify the prophets of our discovery until I hear everything this oracle has to say. I will gladly share what I am permitted, but we have little time. What has been unleashed here could destroy everything you have ever known. On that, Oracle, we are in agreement. Your actions do not make sense. Proper protocol for a flood outbreak is to establish immediate infection reporting. Communications must be maintained with all local forces in order to track any spread of the parasite. There are no local forces, Oracle. For now, all you have is me. But I tracked multiple ships in orbit, including some remaining human presence. In light of the danger posed by the Flood, surely you can set aside this disagreement with the humans no. and... Anything still alive in orbit is our enemy. The humans have very good cause to kill us on sight. And the knowledge you've shared with me casts doubt on the entire purpose of our Covenant. If any of our ships remain above us, they are not the help you seek. But why would they not provide assistance? Because of this talk of prophecies and journeys? I learned a small amount about your Covenant before that Reclaimer blew up my installation. But my understanding is incomplete. The AI I encountered on board one of your ships was less than forthcoming. What you need to know, Oracle, is that thousands of years ago, at the founding of our Great Covenant, a bargain was struck between the Prophets and the Elites. A bargain which I fear will be the end of us. Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar of Autumn. My Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. But I followed with all the ships in my command. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. Yet the humans were able to evade your ships, land on the sacred ring and desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Noble Hierarchs, surely you understand that once the Parasite attacked... There will be order in this council! You were right to focus your attention on the Flood, but this demon, this Master Chief... By the time I learned the demon's intent, there was nothing I could do. of truth this has gone on long enough make an example of this bungler the council demands it you are one of our most treasured instruments long have you led your fleet with honor and distinction but your inability to safeguard halo was a colossal failure I will continue my campaign against the humans. No, you will not. Soon the great journey shall begin. But when it does, the weight of your heresy will stay your feet, and you shall be left behind. For generations, our holy arrangement put the Prophets in charge of religion and technology. The Elites led our military forces to convert new species and find relics such as your Halo. And these relics you sought, the San Shayum, your Prophets, told you that they would lead you on this great journey? Yes. Transcendence. Eternal life. Their promises were endless. 
We gave up our old ways to follow the Prophet's lead on the great journey. Gave up all of our history. All of our traditions. Not all of your traditions, it seems. This Arbiter you mentioned, hasn't that always been a position of power for your species? Power? It was long ago. An Arbiter was once the pinnacle of our people, leader of the clans, and master of the battlefield. But then, an Arbiter committed heresy, and an example was made of him. Heresy? He challenged the word of the Prophets. Challenged and lost. So the title of Arbiter became a badge of shame for our most spectacularly failed warriors. Hmm, yes. They were accomplished manipulators. Back before the firing of the Array. I see at least that hasn't changed. Manipulators? What? And before? Before when? I will explain later. Right now I want you to tell me everything you can of these Arbiters. It is most unusual that in all the exploits of these Arbiters, you never mention their role in choosing their missions of redemption. There is no role, Oracle. Once one of our commanders becomes an Arbiter, he belongs to the Hierarchs. These Hierarchs, they are the same High Prophets who control all the holy relics you collect from my time? The same. And they use these relics to build your new weapons and bring you the word of your gods? It has always been so. Interesting. Am I a holy relic? I... I do not understand. Because I am certainly not a god. I am a tool, as is this mining platform you stand upon, as was the installation that once orbited the planet. The Forerunner's technology is lasting and indeed quite powerful, but I'm quite certain they would have told me if I was infused with some kind of divine power. I suspect some of your prophets may have been quite aware of how much divine inspiration tools such as myself could provide. And you never questioned these proclamations. Even your mightiest warriors, these Arbiters, never questioned? Questioning was what brought shame to the word Arbiter long ago, Oracle. How disappointing. I fear now that there are many questions we should have been asking for a long, long time. I would be more than happy to answer any such questions. But I have a few more for you. Continue your tale of these Arbiters. to fear that you're not very smart. Mind your tongue, Oracle. Oh, I mean no offense. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your species. How long have these prophets been anointing Arbiters? Since the fall of Falchavami, the first disgraced Arbiter, roughly 400 years ago. Incredible! And in all this time, it never occurred to you how convenient it was that your prophets were able to find a powerful, capable leader among your people, who happened to suddenly commit a terrible blasphemy every time the power structure of your covenant was threatened. I do not understand. Hmm, you do little to dissuade my fears. Then teach me. Looking back at the record of the Arbiters you've discussed, was it not surprising to anyone that those chosen to become Arbiter were more than simple warriors? How so? Each of them had significant political influence among your people, 
In some cases, that influence was already being used to question the decisions of your hierarchs. In fact, that very questioning often gave rise to the charges of heresy that so neatly removed the challenger from the hierarch's concern. And once they were branded Arbiter... They promptly and quite cheerfully ran to meet their deaths. All our lives we look down at the path, put our feet where the prophets tell us. All our lives spent convincing ourselves of the truth of our covenant. Could all of it truly have been wasted? Let's hope not all of it, for we have a great deal of work to do. The Flood is still out there, so I require a cooperative reclaimer to enact proper containment procedures. But your Covenant keep trying to kill all the reclaimers I can find. All this bickering is quite a deadly waste of time. Right now, the most important question we can ask is this. Who could break this hold the Prophets have over you? The only one I would trust with this information is probably dead right now. He was commander of the fleet that brought me to the system. Felvatimi was his name. But after hearing you tell of the destruction of the ring, I cannot believe that he still lives. His orders were to secure the ring, to prepare it for the arrival of the Hierarchs. Vatimi never fails in his duties. If the ring is no more, then Vadami must be dead. Duty can indeed be a dangerous virtue. But even if he did live, wouldn't this sense of duty make him quite unlikely to set aside his allegiance to the Prophets? Perhaps not. And he would never betray our people. No, oh, if I... if we were able to just speak to him, explain everything you have told me, no, these are futile hopes. If he did live, and if he was returned to the High Prophets, they would most certainly punish him for the destruction of the Ring. In fact, he would be the exact kind of leader the Hierarchs would make Arbiter. They would need someone to blame for the loss of the Ring. His influence within the fleet grew with every one of his victories over the humans. And if he did become Arbiter? Then he would be lost to our cause. Without the knowledge you've shared with me, he would obey the prophets without question. I doubt he would even respond to his former name. I don't know what it would take to overcome, but as you say, we don't have time to ask such questions, and Vadimi is almost certainly dead. If all your hopes rest on him, then I fear for the future of this galaxy. As do I, Oracle. As do I. But I will begin our fight. Make others aware of the lies the Prophets whisper in our ears. And soon, we will find more who will take up our cause. How much further must we heft this baggage? Any cell will do? Why not toss him in with this lot? They could use the meat. Them? What about us? My belly aches, and his flesh is seared just the way I like it. Quiet! You two whimper like grunts fresh off the teat. He's not meant for the jails. The hierarchs have something special in mind. Tartarus. But I thought... And take your brutes with you. 
Release the prisoner. The Council decided to have you hung by your entrails and your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to me. I am already dead. Indeed. Do you know where we are? The mausoleum of the Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. Every Arbiter from first to last. Each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the Hunters, the Grunt Rebellion. Were it not for the Arbiters, the Covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. But the Council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brothers. They would use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The Great Journey is a... This heretic, and those who follow him, must be silenced. Their slander offends all who walk the path. What use am I? I can no longer command ships. Lead troops into battle? Not as you are, no. But become the Arbiter. And you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. What of the Council? The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die, as each Arbiter has before you. The Council will have their corpse. What would you have your Arbiter do? When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons, we swore to uphold the Covenant. Even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics, worthy of neither pity nor mercy. Even now, they use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. We shall grind them into dust and continue our march to glorious salvation. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the Arbiter, the will of the Prophets, of these are my elites. Their lives matter to me, yours does not. That makes two of us. Later, hmm. there is no doubt the storm will strike the facility. We'll be long gone before it arrives. Active camouflage. Reveal yourselves only after the Arbiter has joined battle with the enemy. You may wish to do the same, Arbiter. But take heed. Your armor system is not as 
new as ours. Your camouflage will not last forever. What is it? That stench. I've smelled it before. Come out, so we may kill you. <laughs> Get in line. Leader! Stand firm. The blood is on the this and we shall force him out how the cable i'm going to cut it get everyone back to the ships warriors return to the landing zone the orbiter will continue upward cut this station to land. <laughs> Sacrifice us all for nothing. More questions? Splendid. I would be happy to assist you. The elites are blind, Arbiter. 
but I will make them see. withdrawn our phantoms. Are you questioning my decision? No, Holy One. I only wish to express my concern that the brutes... Recommissioning the Guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the Elites can no longer guarantee our safety. I shall relay your decision to the Council. Do you know, Arbiter, the Elites have threatened to resign, to quit the High Council, because of this exchange of hats? We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. Even as the human's annihilation filled us with satisfaction, the loss of one of the sacred rings racked our hearts with grief. Putting aside our sorrow. We renewed our faith in the prophecy that other rings would be found, and see how our faith has been rewarded. Halo! Its divine wind will rush through the stars, propelling all who are worthy along the path to salvation. But how to start this process? For ages we searched for one who might unlock the secrets of the rings. An oracle. And with your help we found it. With appropriate humility, we plied the Oracle with questions, and it, with clarity and grace, has shown us the key. You will journey to the surface of the ring and retrieve this sacred icon. With it, we shall fulfill our promise. Salvation for all! And begin the great journey. Once the shield is down, We'll head straight to the library. I do not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human that killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? Retrieving the Icon is my only concern. <laughs> of course. Critical to the great journey. I must find it. 
We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stand in our way. The parasite is not to be trifled with. I hope you know what you're doing. to the icon. On your way, Arbiter. I'll deal with these beasts. You know, your father never asked me for help either. The index is secure. Mackenzie, Perez, how's our exit? You hear me, Marines? We got trouble. learn of this, but they will take your head when they learn. <laughs> Fool. They ordered me to do it. this thing off. Demon. This one is mission and nerve, and has its mind concluded. This one is but flesh and faith, and is the more deluded. Kill me or release me, Parasite. But do not waste my time with talk. There is much talk, and I have listened through rock and metal and time. Now I shall talk, and you shall listen. Greetings. 
I am 2401 Penitent Tangent. I am the monitor of Installation 05. And I am the Prophet of Regret, Council of Most High, Hierarch of the Covenant. A Reclaimer? Here? At last. We have much to do. This facility must be activated if we are to control this outbreak. Just stay where you are. Nothing can be done until my sermon is complete. Not true. This installation has a successful utilization record of 1.2 trillion simulated in one actual. It is ready to fire on demand. Of all the objects our lords left behind, there are none so worthless as these oracles. They know nothing of the great journey! And you know nothing about containment. You have demonstrated complete disregard for even the most basic protocols. This one's containment. And this one's great journey are the same. Your prophets have promised you freedom from a doomed existence. But you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they wrought. Do not mistake their intent, or all will perish as they did before. This thing is right. Halo is a weapon. Your prophets are making a big mistake. Your ignorance already destroyed one of the Sacred Rings, demon. It shall not harm another. If you will not hear the truth, then I will show it to you. There is still time to stop the key from turning. But first it must be found. You will search one likely spot. And you will search another. Fate had us meet as foes, but this ring will make us brothers. Arbiter, the counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire on disloyal beasts. The prophets were fools to trust them. Counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the Icon, the start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors.
sure as hell don't like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring. And we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a bed and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. from its socket, mm. which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. <clears throat> Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down, and disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. <clears throat> Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle. What is Halo's purpose? Collective Whoa, of the Seven. Not another word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings. What are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential floodhosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the Prophets have betrayed us. <laughs> no, Arbiter! journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort. What's that? A beacon. 
What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact. Unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Gorman? His armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. Radio for Vito. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Chief, wait! The Arbiter's with us! Come on, now. We've got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy? We must go. The brutes have our scent. Then they must love the smell of green. First squad, you're my scouts. Arbiter, watch the chief's back. Move out, quiet as you can. Bravo team, this is Johnson. We got him. Fall back to the extraction point. Over. Roger that. Reynolds out.
See how they bait their trap? I will help you spring it. This isn't as fun as it looks. I'll Cut the power! You, we're even, long as we're only counting today. Kilo 23, what's your ETA? Imminent, Sergeant. Find some cover. Got a clear path. Roger that, Hocus. Friendly gunship coming in hot. Out. IFF confirmed. Contact is Pelican Dropship, Kilo 23, over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 23? Sierra 117 on board. Request priority clearance, over. Deck's yours. Come on down. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the commander her ace is in the hole. Check it out. No way. A Spartan? For real. You better not be. Oh man, he's here. We're gonna be Where all did right. you find him? Napping. Out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed. The Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent bombardment were extreme. Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here, East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then they started digging. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Now the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark, where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. If he succeeds, humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy... The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Good news, Commander Keys. Good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's your status, son? Green, sir. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan. But without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site, and his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But, if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk. But I'm confident... Hell, not again. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let him know... 
All of you vermin, cowering in the dirt, thinking, what, I wonder, that you might escape the coming fire? No, your world will burn until its surface is but glass, and not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage, the culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods. And I, I am their instrument. Cocky bastard just loves to run his mouth. Does he usually mention me? Give the order, we're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel, They're wounded. Code Alpha we're getting all of them out. Immediate evacuation. I have to carry him myself. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? To war. We just lost the perimeter cameras. Motion trackers? They're down or we're not receiving. Can't tell. Any of our birds squawking? No, ma'am. Wait. Overwatch has contacts. Phantoms closing on our position. Any birds less than five minutes out, bring them in. Tell everything else to scatter. Aye, aye. I never thought we'd have this many wounded. The pelicans are gonna take extra time to load. We knew they'd find us eventually. But we have a plan. Let's make it happen. Let's get out there! Chief, move out. You too, Arbiter. The commander will brief you as you go. Follow me, sir. Perimeter's this way. Come on, sir. I'll show you the way. The base was built for some 20th century. It's full of old tech, like these door controls. Get those turrets up. Watch your fields of fire. How'd they find us? Point of entry. Best assessment. Hangar sergeant. Agreed. Chief, arbiter, get there. We're with you, chief. Yeah, get some. On your six, sir! Chief, good. This channel is secure. My fire teams are spread thin. We can't hold out forever. I need that hangar clear for evac ASAP. Wipe those bastards off the deck! What the? Pelicans can't launch until the hangar's clear! Time to get to work, Arbiter Dude!
have a look. A little going away gift for the Covenant. We've linked it to smaller charges throughout the base. Johnson, as soon as the evacuation is complete, start the timer. Understood. Good luck, everyone. See you on the last Pelican out. Chief, Arbiter, follow me. Get to the barracks. Save those men. Then escort them to the landing pad for evac. Brooks, in the op center. They disarmed the bomb. I'm sorry, Commander, there were too many. Even for me. Chief, get back to the op center. Kill those brutes. Rearm the bomb. I've got to get these men out of here. But I'll radio with another exit. Good luck. Discovered how they plan to stop me.
Red Hood. We made it. Music to my ears, Commander. What about the Ark? Fully uncovered, sir. Then we don't have much time. Marines, the Prophet of Truth doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get kicked right off his throne. You will take our city back and drive our enemy into the graves they've been so happily digging. One final effort is all that remains. That gun's been firing on 
on stock. It's got to be running hot.
I am salvation. I am a timeless chorus. Join your voice with mine and sing victory everlasting. Cortana. My charity, the Prophet's holy city is on. Cortana. Reclaimer. I must act quickly before your construct suffers any further Wait. trauma. Leave her alone. If we do not take this device to a safe location, somewhere I can make repairs. On Halo, you tried to kill Cortana. You tried to kill me. Protocol dictated my response. She had the activation index, and you were going to destroy my installation. You did destroy my installation. Now I have only one function, to help you, Reclaimer, as I always should have done. Can it be saved? Uncertain. This storage device has suffered considerable trauma. Its matrices are highly unstable. Perhaps one of our technicians. That will not be necessary. Chief. Success. Hi, Charity. The Prophet's holy city is on its way to Earth with an army of flood. I can't tell you everything. It's not safe. The Grave Mind, it knows I'm in the system. It's just a message. Let it play doesn't know about the portal, where it leads. On the other side, there's a solution, a way to stop the flood, without firing the remaining halo rings. Oh! <laughs> Hurry, Chief. The Ark. There isn't much time. I'm sorry. No matter, Oracle. We've heard enough. Our fight is through the portal. With the Brutes and the Bastard Truth! Fine. We'll remain here. Hold out as long as we can. Did you not hear? Your world is doomed. A Flood Army. A Grave Mother has you in its sights. We barely survived a small contamination. And you, Shipmaster, just glassed half a continent. Maybe the Flood is all I should be worried about. One single Flood Spore can destroy a species. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, I would have glassed your entire planet. Sir, with respect, Cortana has a solution. Cortana? Did you see her condition? How damaged she is? She could be corrupted for all we know. Her solution could be a Flood Trap. We should go through the portal. Find out for sure. What we should do, Commander, is understand, clearly, that this is humanity's final stand. Here, at Earth, we go, we risk everything. Every last man, woman, and child. If we stand our ground, we might just have a chance. No. If your construct is wrong, then the Flood is already won. I'll find Cortana's solution, and I'll bring it back. Earth is all we have left. You trust Cortana that much? Sir. Yes, sir. Well, this is either the best decision you've ever made or the worst. Hell of it is, Chief. I doubt I'll live long enough to find out which.
Group ships. Staggered line. Shipmaster. They outnumber us three to one. Then it is an even fight. All cruisers fire at will. Burn their mongrel hides. Crew's ship isn't taking part in the attack. He must have gone to ground. Roger that, ma'am. We're on him. Kick the door. Down, we spotted a good LZ. If we can get to our vehicles, we'll lead you to it. Then you 
heard the lady? Did you let them choose a vehicle reclaimer? This one seems in very good condition. Primitive armament, notwithstanding. Light years from Galactic Center, to be precise. What is this place? The Ark. This is the Ark? I had always assumed it was part of a shield installation, but it seems I was mistaken. That's a first. Not at all. While I had a complete understanding of Installation 04, my makers wisely limited my knowledge of all other strategic facilities. Compartmentalization, in case I was ever captured by the Flood. Can you tell me where we are exactly? Here. And truth? Near one of the Ark's superluminal communication arrays, I'm afraid. Unfortunate. The meddler has triggered a barrier, a defensive perimeter around the Ark's core. The barrier will be difficult to disable. How odd that my makers would place such a comprehensive defense around a single... Oh my. What is it? Phantom! Spark, move. We must get past that barrier, or the metal will destroy it all. 
Commander. Johnson, look sharp. I got it. No, don't shoot. They mean us no harm. Those units have a priority task. Oh, yeah? And what might that be? I really can't say. Not for sure. But if you allow me to find a terminal closer to the car... We must keep the path But what about your construct? The solution to the problem? With more data... Armor's right. We have priorities, too. Until we kill Truth, stop the rings from firing. Nothing else matters.
now, Prophet. Your end has come. My journey. By the gods, brace for impact! around us, we tread the blessed path. In a moment I will light the rings, and all who believe shall be saved. Chief, how close are you? Not close enough. <sighs> that the best you got. <laughs> Impress me. Stop! You imbecile! He wants you to kill him. I'd prefer that you did not. <sighs> What's the matter, big shot? Can't start your own party. I admit, I need your help. But that secret dies with all. Johnson, sound off. <laughs> Get out of here! Not without you. You delay the inevitable. One of you will light the rings. You cannot hope to kill them all. You're right. Do it. Me. And you. Now. No!
Your forefathers wisely set aside their compassion, steeled themselves for what needed to be done. I see now why they left you behind. Gods must be strong. of salvation is at hand. It will not last. Your kind never believed in the promise of the sacred ring. Lies for the weak, beacons for the deluded. I will have my revenge on a prophet, not a plague. My feet tread the path. I shall become a god. You
What do you see? taught me patience, but basking in new freedom, I will know all that I possess! from the first Halo ring. A little 
souvenir I hung on to, just in case. Got an escape plan? Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a little. Just keep your head down. There's two of us in here now. some time. This reactor? Start a chain reaction. Destroy High Charity. Johnson, do you have the frigate? Yes, ma'am. I'll land her as close to the control room as I can. Safe is better than close, Sergeant Major. Roger that. Ma'am, it's good to have you back. sure what will happen when we fire it. We'll head for the portal. And we'll all go home. Open up! Ghost is clear. Not for long. I'm tracking additional dispersal pods. They'll be hitting any minute. Chief! Arbiter! Let's move! Do I take life or give it? Who is victim and who is foe? 
It's trying to rebuild itself on this ring. Hurry! Control room's close! Thank me, Chief. I'm not gonna lose her, too. Oh, hello. Wonderful news. The installation is almost complete. Terrific. Yes, isn't it? I have begun my simulations. No promises, but initial results indicate this facility should be ready to fire in just a few more days. We don't have a few more days. B -b but a premature firing will destroy the Ark. Deal with it. We'll destroy this installation. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Protocol dictates action. I see now that helping you was wrong. Are the child of my makers, inheritor of all they left behind. You are forerunner, but this ring is mine. I take no pleasure in doing what must be done. I'm getting you out of here. Come on, Spartan! Go, go, go! Firing sequence! 
going on? Chief! For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was elsewhere. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren, a memorial to heroes fallen. They ennobled all of us, and they shall not be forgotten. Present hot! I remember how this war started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy? Things look different without the Prophet's lies clouding my vision. I would like to see our own world, to know that it is safe. Fear not, for we have made it so. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. Halsey can learn to speak Guardian. I have a briefing for you by the time we reach San Helios. See you, planet side. So, you wrote a target dossier on the Arbiter when you wrote Pony. That was six years ago. What's your point? You recommended assassinating him. After we killed millions of our people. So why didn't you? Things changed. Is engaged in combat. We will escort you to him. Locke. The planet's deep in civil war. If this all goes sideways... I understand, sir. It's not my first mission that doesn't exist. 
Luxbar. and formed a new alliance, the Swords of Sanghelios. With Arbiter's victories and the death of Jewel Emdama, the Covenant remnants grow desperate. They have begun an assault on Vadam lands, targeting Arbiter specifically. And Arbiter's location? You will find Arbiter at the Elder Council Chambers. Victory to clan and kin, Spartans. Maquis out. I'm impressed. Arbiter has females in his ranks. War has traditionally been a male's job on Sangelios. What are those buildings over there? Sunion. That's where the Guardian is located. We're gonna need serious backup to get anywhere near it. We need the swords of Sangelios. And that means we need Arbiter. Dead elites ahead. Looks like they're with the swords of Sangelios. She didn't say Reimau. She didn't say, Wu Te Ha Day. What's that, Vale? Sangili burial prayer. A warrior at birth, a warrior in death. Arbiter's an ally, so these dead here are our brothers, as far as I'm concerned. Agreed. Time for payback. The cabin opens up here. Keep your eyes up. Snipers on that ridge ahead. Stick to cover till we get them in range. I'm at the top of the ridge. There's an exit up here. Spartan, yes. That is the path you see. Keep moving. Lose our hope. The Covenant are talking like they've already got the Arbiter beat. If we lose the Arbiter, reaching the Guardian at Sunion gets complicated. These are pre-Covenant Sangheili ruins. They were already ancient history before humanity built the pyramids. Covenant, flying in. Act casual. Maybe they won't notice us. Kavi seem convinced they can win this thing. If they kill the Arbiter, they'll be well on their way. That building's taking a beating. That's the Elder Council Chamber. Maquis said the Arbiter was there. This mural shows the story of the Elites and the Prophets. This is about the creation of the Covenant. Alliance of the Prophets and the Elites. All clear. I am approaching your position. Hold your fire. Check your fire. Friendly incoming. Your Commander Palmer thought you would find these useful. I do like the way she thinks. Covenant reinforcements move on the Elder Council Chamber. Time is running low, Spartans. We'll clear a path to the Arbiter. Just be ready for extraction. I shall await your signal. Mount up, Osiris. I'll take the gun. Covenant, on me, Osiris. Almost there. Hurry. If there is one sword of saying Helios left, it's the other. Coming up on the council chamber. Get in there. Now! 
Insertion pods incoming. Push through, Osiris. Eyes on gold. Arbiter! Ready for extraction. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Jameson Locke, UNSC. Captain Lasky sends his greetings and thanks you for your cooperation. Oni, out of the shadows. The spies announce themselves now, Agent Locke. I'm a Spartan now, sir. I know who you are. You were an agent when you volunteered to execute me. I saved your life today. Yet now you hunt another Spartan. The greatest of your clan. Let him hunt. He'll never find us. It's Cortana. She touched every networked device in the camp. She knows the Guardian is here. Locke, that thing's our last shot. You have the firepower to get us in there. Sunayan is the Covenant's final stronghold on San Helios. We will move only when victory is assured. Doctor, Osiris will deploy within the hour. Have your plan ready. Guns down, Osiris. We're guests here. Locke, I have a briefing prepared. Given Cortana's show of power, I am reluctant to discuss it over open channels. Understood, Doctor. We're on our way. Is the cliffside secure? Our systems have been compromised. By the human AI, not the Covenant. It is sabotage! We must respond! We fight one enemy at a time. Today, the Covenant. I'll take your report now! <laughs> Osiris, come look at this. I'm using this structure to upload the recording from Meridian into the constructor. Make sure you're ready to go when I give the signal. Standing by, Doctor. Get comfortable. It could be hours. I take it back. It's headed for Sunaya. It's moving towards the Guardian. Orbiter, it's time. Today the Covenant will fall. San Helios will be free! You know what I did to create the Spartans, all in the name of the greater good. Doctor, we don't have time. Cortana is built from a matrix of my own mind. The Domain gives her incredible power. I understand. Spartan Locke! Stop her! But please, bring John home to me. Osiris, form up. Everyone ready? Actually, Tanaka, if I could ask a favor. Would you say a word or two? Come a long way together. A long way yet to go. Let's make a good jump like we mean to. And handle fools like we need to. 90 seconds to insertion point. And may buck by the first round when we get back. We get through this, 
I'll buy the whole damn bar. Fire Team Osiris. The light is green. With me, target the air defenses. Near landing zone. Oh, San Helios! There's the first of the air defenses. Push forward. Take it out. All clear. Disable the air defenses. Target out of the cannon itself. Next. Spartans, the Guardian is at the far end of the city. There are more anti-air emplacements in that direction. We'll clear out air defenses as we go. Good luck to you, Spartan. And to you, Orbiter. Swords of San Helios, today Sanayan will fall, and with it, the Covenant! To me, brothers! All right, Spartans. There's ground to cover between here and the Guardian. Move out. Brace for a charge. Hostiles in the doorway. Enemy near the doorway. How do we know if Dr. Halsey's plan worked and the constructor did its job? Guardian will start moving. Just need to be close enough to jump on board when it does. Swords of San Helios. All ships report in. Adequate station. One slot on station. Visual on anti-air emplacement. Shut it down. Give the swords of San Helios some airspace. One station on station. All ships. Focus fire on Covenant Air Forces! Send them crashing to a watery grave! The Arbiter's fleet is arriving. Bring down the air defenses so they stand a chance. Hit that target! Target. Cannons offline! Spartan locked the swords of St. Helios. Air defense is down on my position. Confirmed, Spartan. Sending air support. Keep moving. There's plenty more to do. There's an elevator to the Undercity. Everybody on the elevator. Good luck down there, Spartans. Arbiter, we're heading to the Undercity. I want to warn you. Before the Guardian jumps to slip space, it sets up a series of concussive blasts. If you move your ships out of the way in time, the Covenant will take the brunt of it. Victory and honor do not grow from timid seeds, Spartan Lock. Your harvest shall be grand. When you see the Chief again, tell him I send my greetings. I will indeed, sir. Lock, I've never heard a Sangheili address a human like that. I'll try not to let it go. Maquis says we'll get direct access to the Guardian from down here. But remember, we don't have the Swords of Sanghelios to distract these troops. Whatever gets us to the Guardian quickest. Spartans, be aware. New enemies join the battle above. Armored, glory. Prometheus. We'll be ready on. Constructor must have done its work. It means the Guardian will be awake soon. Double time, Osiris. Hydras are down. End of the line. We have to go back up. Better hurry. Can't have too much longer to go. I hear some grunts. Elevator door. Everybody, on the elevator. Arbiter, this is Spartan Lock. Do you copy? Spartan Lock. Near the Guardian. Killing everyone. Arbiter. That's no good. We should be close to the Guardian by now. If we can help Arbiter... We do, but not at the risk of missing the Guardian. Reaching Master Chief is more important. If 
we miss this Guardian, what's plan B for catching up the Chief? This is plan B. It's the only Guardian we know of. Looks like we just missed all the fun. Guardian singing! How much time do we have left? Not enough. Double time, Osiris! Over there, in the ocean! Guardian's rising! Arbiter! The Guardian! Look out! Haven't come this far to let the Guardian slip away now! Hurry, Spartan! Run! Run! Watch your step! Corvette coming down! Move! Careful! It's going to... Up, up, up! Move, Spartan! Did you see that? You think it's Prometheus? How the hell is that thing here? We killed it! We don't have time to discuss it. Take him out, Osiris. Get fire on the wall. Deal with the warden first. Focus fire, Osiris. You and the peace, man! I will handle this myself. Extinguish the Covenant's light. Oh! 